supplies you will need for this DIY will be some diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree, some spray paint, silver if you're doing silver or gold, whatever color you choose, some glass cleaner, paper towels, a hot glue gun and glue stick. I think that's called a solder soldering gun, some picture hanging wire, a ruler, pen or pencil, some E6000 or fix it all glue from the Dollar Tree, some scissors, an exacto knife or a razor blade if you know how to use one. Children, please get mom or dad's help. If you're going to use something like that, even a sharp pair of scissors or glue that does not smell nice. Batteries for the fairy lights. Two packs of these wavy mini trays from the Dollar Tree. They're clear. I used the mirror and the frame but it's an 11 by 13 size and they didn't have a nice mirror with a nice frame. So what I did was I purchased a mirror and a frame in that size from the Dollar Tree. A big foam board, I used mine already as you can see, but these are the supplies that you will be needing in order to make this DIY. So guys, if you're interested, come with me. This is how I'm going to build the frame. I have two trays on top, one on each side and two in the bottom. And I'm going to glue them together on the edges. And as you can see, they fit perfectly like they're all a piece of a puzzle. Once I have that glued with E6000 and hot glue, I will come back and show you what that looks like. I have those three already glued. And so I'm coming here. I'm putting some, some of this fix it, fix it all from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put some there. Some there, some there. Then I'm going to go with the hot glue gun and put there, there, and there. I'm going to come on this side and make sure that when you're doing this, your trays are on an even flat. Now the poster board is under the frame that I just glued together. I'm going to measure. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want there to be poster board too excessive coming outward. So this is what it looks like, right? It's right there on the edge and that's how I want it. I just wanted to give it stability, but not show too much. So I'm gonna measure with the ruler, like right down there with a pencil. I'm going to mark it right there, right there. And then I'm gonna give it a little, I'm gonna continue to do that so that I know where I'm going to place the ruler to make the straight line. And then I'm going to cut it, not with scissors. I'm going to cut it with an X-Acto knife or a razor but children please if you're gonna cut anything please get mom or dad's permission can you see the lines that i drew with the pencil so now i'm going to put the ruler there that's going to be my guide and i'm going to draw the line the straight line and then cut it with the exacto knife and so this is what I have. I just want to make sure that it is a straight edge.
And I have glass covering my desk. I'm going to paint it on the edges silver so that it could match the um the tray. I cleaned the mirror and now I'm going to put it on the frame. Now I noticed that the mirror is slightly smaller than this frame even though the frame stated that it's the same size as the mirror but because it's from the dollar tree i mean can't complain too much right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this this mirror in the middle of the frame and how i'm going to keep it there is i am going to use my hot glue gun now i'm going to put hot glue right there to hold it in place right there in that corner and in each corner that's exactly what i'm going to do but because this needs to get the stuff put on and my my um hot glue just fell on the floor my hot glue gun so i'm gonna hurry up and put this in there before that hot glue dries up and it does not allow me to put the backing on that's gonna hold that mirror in place for me and if you find yourself with the same situation that's how you can resolve that problem okay now we're gonna need four and I'm going to cut these. So this is what I have so far. I created a frame out of the foam board and the frame is smaller than the picture frame that I'm using for the mirror. The reason it is smaller is because I'm going to use that edge right there to glue the light. Now this is how I'm doing it. I like putting the batteries in the battery pack so that I could see how the lights look while I'm working with them. I put a, um, I'm putting a dab of hot glue on each little thing. And what I did is I, I pinched them and I twist it so that they have the little loops like that. I don't know if you can, guys can see that. Each light has a little loop and it's going to rest on top of here. Okay, so this is what we should have. I already glued them, I glued them all the way around. I have the battery packs here and I am going to um, place the lid back on these and I'm going to screw it, not too, like too tight, but um, I'm going to do this because I did a DIY, the DIY that I did with the Christmas wreath. I put the lid back on and I didn't put the screw on. And every time I'm going to turn it on is like I can't find the thing. And it, since it's behind and it's on the, on the door, it's like kind of hard to turn on. Anyway, so helpful um, tips that I'm going to give you. Whenever you find these little fairy lights um, at the Dollar Tree, guys pick up a couple of them they're hard to find and um 10 for a dollar is not bad when you're going to do a diy like that and always have some um double a batteries on hand also so that in case you want to do a diy and all of a sudden you get the idea of putting the the fairy lights you have them you could pick up these little um um screwdriver kits at the dollar tree also and you will need these to open up those battery packs because they do have those little tiny screws there so um i'm done with this i'm going to um glue this on the painted foam board then glue the trays on and i'm still not done because there's still some stuff that needs to be done with that so I will be right back. And this is how I made sure that when I glue that mirror, everything is centered 
correctly because I want to make sure I'm going to pick the camera up to show you guys the edges of this foam board down there should be there like that you see it resting right on the edge and therefore when you center the mirror the mirror should be centered in the middle of the frame you're going to do this and you're going to look all the way around to make sure that that foam and those trays are centered evenly all the way around before you start gluing now if you're going to do it with e6000 and the hot glue gun use the e6000 first then the dabs of hot glue but you have to work quickly after the hot glue so that it doesn't dry up on you but look at how beautiful that looks and at night it's gonna be so luminous and make sure that when you trace you have a straight line where the mirror is gonna be laying okay. so i'm gonna pick this up and the line should be there you guys see that so now on those lines, which I have the bootleg one from the Dollar Tree, fix it all. It works just as good as the E6000, only it doesn't have that sharp nozzle, but that's okay. So we're going to put some there. And this stuff is like not good for you to smell. I'm going to put the dabs of hot glue. This is going to give it a quick hold. And you got to work quickly with this stuff. And now I'm going to put in my mirror. Make sure that those battery pots are not in the glue. And this is what I'm doing. So I measured the bling wrap to the frame. And I cut, putting fairy lights, making holes in each tray. The fairy lights are already beaded into the trays. And that's what it looks like with the fairy lights on. Now I beaded two of the lights inside the tray. And over here, this is my next step. I am taking strips of the bling wrap and that is six strips long three wide and two of those and one for the middle and then i put one of those one of these gems in the middle of where i made the hole to to beat the string lights that's what it's going to look like and then I'm going to put these little trays that I bought at the Dollar Tree like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to put bling wrap on the sides yet, but I'm liking how that looks just like that. And when I am done doing all 16 that I still have to do, I will come back and show you guys my next step. I glued an entire roll of five wide bling wrap strip all around the bottom edge on the outside where the foam board meets the trays so that it has a clean cut and even though in there you can see the foam board where the mirror is at when it's hung up on the wall because of this um bling wrap that i put out there you won't be able to see the inside of there now over here i'm taking the little clear trays that I bought serving trays, mini wavy plates. They come 12 in a pack. I'm, ha I'm gonna have to use two of those. And this is what I'm doing. I took it and I put them like that. I cut two strip wide of the bling wrap, nine and then eight across. And then I remove one. And then when I glue them, it's going to look like a perfect like that now that one i that's the only one that i did i have to do 
um 17 more so and this is how this is how it looks with it on this is how it looks with it off and so i'm liking this one better so that's why i'm doing it and that's how it looks with the lights on that's how it looks with the lights off so i will be back when i'm done doing these little trays and gluing all the trays around and then and in the back i have to um Put that uh, a strip of that wire so that you could hang up um, picture frames. That's how I'm going to hang this up on the wall. So when I'm ready for that last step, I will be back to show you that. Good morning. Today we're going to put these little um, trays on top of the other trays. And we're going to finish up our DIY. And helpful tip, when you're using the hot glue, it usually leaves these little um, thread types of hot glue. So when that happens, I suggest it's easier if you wait for those um, little threads of hot glue to um, be cooled off. Because when they're cooled off, you can just pull them away from the um, DIY but if you try and remove them when the glue is still hot, it's going to leave a cloudy mess on your clear DIY. We're almost done. So the fairy light battery packs are glued on top. I glued the wire, the ha uh, frame wire, to the back. I use E6000, a dab in the middle, and then on the side, some hot glue. And I put some duct tape to hold it in place while it dried. I did the same on the other side. Um, this battery pack is a little bit bigger, so I'm not, I don't, I don't know if right now I'm going to glue it to here or not. But let's go into the next room and hang this up. So what do you guys think? I like it. I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more DIYs. I am going to make sconces for one for each side of this wall mirror with those trays. And it's gonna be three on each one. And then I'm going to make a table lamp with the bigger trays. And it's all going to be a set that I'm trying to make so that it matches This vanity tray that lights up, and this is in my, in my, um, one of my DIYs on my YouTube channel, and it's all a set that I'm trying to make, so I hope you guys check my channel out, I hope you guys try this DIY, you can make it for yourself, for your mom, for your sister, for your daughter, to give it as a Christmas gift, as a Mother's Day gift, as a birthday present, I hope you guys try it if you do please let me know how you how it came out share pictures share my page i hope you guys have a blessed day and i hope you guys come back to see all my other diys that i have prancing in my head and i will be making have a blessed day bye